Right, we're at the part of the show anyway, where we always ask for a nice gift. And uh, have well, you brought the gift with you, Mark? I didn't know what to bring you guys. I, <laughs> I thought about bringing you something jokish or something like that. And, uh, you know, I didn't really have a clue what to bring you. So in the end, I decided to donate you a fish. <laughs> So uh, I have to say that might possibly be the best gift the show has ever received. Well, we were saying this before because obviously I've, we do, we we do know a little bit about this. I mean, it. But I mean, it sounds natural, and it's funny. Like when you came into the building, we were asking people to guess what you would donate, and no one actually guessed a fish, did they? No, everyone <laughs> thought it would be something jokey. I'm sure they <laughs> did. You dead, know, I was going to yeah. bring some livestock or something like that. <laughs> I could have bought you a box of nice chickens or something like that. But Just unleash them in the unleash studio. Unleash them in the studio and caused havoc. Uh, <laughs> that would have been all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, you? but no, uh, it's a lovely fish. It's got a little bit of history. Tell us a story, first of all. Yeah, well, well, I'm actually just going to throw the picture up for everyone because okay. it is a, a stunning, stunning fish. Oh, look, there you are, Bean. <laughs> Bean's actually, a, he's actually in the studio with us now, actually. So, um, hey, so what this, a fish. Look at that. Yeah. It's, it's a, fully a lovely fish. It's so a, we're looking at a fully scaled fish there. Yeah. Um, what sort of size is it, Mark? Uh, it's about 24. It's a six summer fish. And uh, one of the lads who's worked with me for a, a very long time now, Graham Rawlins, we call him the toad. Uh, and uh, Graham's worked with me for a long, long time. And a friend of his had some lakes at Petersfield. So Graham said to me, would you mind if I grew some fish at Petersfield and then sold them back to you, your fish, you control selling them, I'm only putting your fish in there. So I said, no, I haven't got a problem with that toad. Uh, and anyway, we harvested uh, his place last year and he said, right, Simo, he said, you can have the 20s up to 22 and nothing any bigger. So we're away weighing these fish and he's not really keeping that much of an eye on the scales. So the first fully scale came up about 23, a bit more. I called out to Toad who was writing down, 21 pound Toad, right? Anyway, and then the next one came up. It's even bigger, maybe 24 and a half. And that's it there. And uh, I said, 21 pound toad. Right, okay. Anyway, then to really wind toad up at a later stage, I took these fish back, put them on a holding farm in a pond. And to really wind toad up, because we like winding him up, don't we, B? Got to be wound up now and again, <laughs> old toad. Got to keep at him. And uh, Sounds I've, familiar. Took, I, I, I've took these two fish out of the holding pond and I put on Facebook, what should I do with these two fish? Should I sell them now or should I grow them? And about 30 people immediately came online and said, we'll buy them now, Simo. We want to buy these fish. And lots of people said, I wouldn't part with them till they're 30 or whatever. So I said, all right, I'm going to grow them on. So immediately, next minute, Toad's on the phone. You stole my bloody fish. <laughs> oh, I said, oh, come on, Toad. You know, have a sense of humour. It was only a couple of pounds between friends, you know what I mean? I said, I paid you loads of money for them anyway, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And he said, you stole them. You stole my fish. It's on Facebook. There it is. Put the photograph of these fish up. And then Toad's got a comment underneath. You stole them, Simo. <laughs> <laughs> so they've, all, they, they've always been known as the Stolen toads ever since. What a great name! Are, are they similar to that, Mark, or is this? Uh, no, I mean, this is this the is other one, distinct, distinct Yeah, fish that, that is the stolen toad, the big stolen toad. Right. And the other one is uh, maybe a pound and a half short of that. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, I will bring you the biggest one, which hopefully is going to be that one. So uh, I'm going to. I just can't believe the scales on it. I'm going to uh, donate that to uh, whichever water you want to put them into. And James has just put his head around the door and said that he spoke to Matt and you'd like to put it into Devil's Lane. And I'd like to see it go into Devil's Lane because Devil's Lane a few years ago was one of the quarter waters that didn't really have a, a lot in it. And they stocked some C4s down there from us two or three times now. So and, we, we, we've got some pictures of some you Devil's know, Lane fish actually. Let's put so, these up. They've grown so well, you know, and there, there's a lot of scaly fish down there. And I'd just like to see the stolen toad, go there. But there's one stipulation. It's always got to be called the stolen toad. So if you guys ever get a photo from Devil's Lane <laughs> of a fish 
and it turns out to be the stolen toad. You've got to put out the stolen toad. I can't let him off the hook. We can't, we can't call it the podcast fish. No, or, uh, stolen toad. What a great gift that is. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome because... Yeah, uh, no, some other but, pictures from Devil's Lane yeah. as well. I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're so happy with, uh, with our relationship with you guys here at Corder and... Uh, you know, you've been so good to support us with uh, our fish over the years. And uh, we've absolutely loved working with you and Simon and, uh, you know, Simon and, uh, sorry. Uh, so ja James ja and Matt. James yeah. and Matt and, uh, and Richie. You know, we've worked with them right from the word go. When we first took fish up, the first lot of fish we stocked were core cuts. And the uh, fish in there have done amazing. But just well, well look at these fish that we're looking yeah. at now from Devil's Lane, Mark. I mean... Look how dark he's gone. That's not a dustbin lid shaped fish, is no, it? You know, I mean, it's, sure. got, it's gone super dark and yeah. uh, quite a long fish it as well. Is that, that, that's the thing that we've specifically over the last few years we've, we've worked towards and that's getting the fish a lot longer and not necessarily so scaly, but a longer, a longer fish with a nice high shoulder on it. And uh, we've done a pretty good job, I would say. Uh, and people... People appreciate them now a little bit more. 